was in my previous place. How dare, how dare Norway not have the best internet, okay? I'm, I'm only All right. here until I move, finally. Oh, okay, so it's still the temporary place. All right, uh, so that don't speak about that because uh, the recording thing is on. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. D don't don't fucking dox yourself. Okay, so how the fuck does this game work again? Uh, so we have this, right? I'm pretty uh, sure at this point all we can honestly do is go to next event. Okay, McRonalds. No. I mean, it begin it begins, right? It fucking begins. Of course. So, uh, negotiations began at the opening of the first McRonald's. It, I wonder, is this like intentional or not? Did they like misspell McDonald's m intentionally? I don't even know. If, 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 if it's in the world, voice them, if it is to avoid some kind of copyright or something. Yeah, like, I highly fucking doubt it because it's like, it's McDonald's. Of course, their copyright gets like infringed upon, I suppose, every time. I, I don't fucking know. Technically, it's a historical game, so it has to be intentional. I don't know. It's it's Crisis in the Kremlin. Anything could be there. It, it could be a joke. Exactly. So, um... Opening should take place in a month, but not everyone is, is so happy about this event. Party conservative consider this the last nail in the lead of the tomb of the Soviet socialism. And complete surrender in the face of capitalism. Uh, the Moscow government has a 51% stake in a new enterprise. Most socialist shares. Uh, so the opening of the restaurant will allow us to replenish our rapidly decreasing budget. Shit, I don't remember if we had money problems last time. <laughs> Fuck. I don't believe we actually have money problems right now. Okay. Um. So Soviet... It can't... Mm. Is it catering? catering? Catering. Yeah. We're gonna make a Soviet McDonald's! God damn it! Uh. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Allocate your money for developing a public catering establishment. Uh, technology. We just made my comrade. What? Why is there a pigeon on my window? Fuck off! Okay. Uh, there, there's a fascist pigeon right outside! Someone shoot him! Get Comrade Stalin! Oh, God. Get Comrade Stalin on the phone. <laughs> we have a fascist pigeon. Uh, okay, so... Uh, I think that made Collapse go down. Uh, epic. I think so. I'll that only used free things. money. Good. I think it also increased standard of living by two. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's obvious. Soviet McDonald's is good. Market Gambit. Okay, so today USSR Council of Ministers recognized the unreality of December 1989 program, it began work on development of more radical and market economic reform. According to Rishkov, until 1989, the government, the goal of government policy was to create democratic socialism, where the state planning system is supplemented by self-government in enterprise, self-financing, and small business. Okay. Uh, complete transition to capitalism was condemned. Now, when the failure of such a concept of health measures became apparent, uh, the traders instructed various uh, working groups to create concepts for the transition of the union to the Jewish capitalism. Uh, how this will affect the country's economy is immediately clear. The benefit of the Polish experience with 600% inflation gives us room for, for thought. Love Poland. Um, oh, it doesn't have influence, whatever the first option is. <laughs> the center will decide for itself. We are only allowed to follow its instructions. <laughs> Epic democratic centralism. Uh, I, I, I don't think. I mean, my plans originally were to just, like, survive, you know? There was that brief moment where, like, I thought that we could be Nazbols, but it, we couldn't. Uh, yeah. We that can't really, sad. like, perestroika all that much, so I think we're just gonna switch to, like, as con like a little bit more conservative, because, um... There's another thing, so what I believe is that since we collect political power slowly and it allows us to 
get access to some options. I believe if we pick the option so we basically do nothing, we save the We get more power. political power? Mm. No, we, we save the political yeah, power. Yeah, yeah, we save it, yeah. Next, for next events that might be more important. Than we want Comrade, you are genius. Um, although, to be fair, the market... Yeah, the market might be very, very um, cringe, but sure, let's do this. Let the market decide. Let let the <laughs> let the party decide to let the market decide. Uh, okay, the developers of the 500 days course, a plan for ultra fast liberalization of the economy and privatization, are in conflict with supporters with the chairman of the Council of Ministers, Nikolai Rishkov. We advocate for a more pragmatic course in order to avoid social collapse and the growth of income inequality. Oh, shock therapy. Oh, this was a bad idea. Oh, this oh, was a bad oh, idea. Oh, no, the key, the, the the COVID cues. Man, the last time I played this, I think it was like uh, before the quarantine. <laughs> I actually experienced this IRL. What the? F it's not fun. <laughs> Although it wasn't because like there was no goods. It was because you weren't allowed to have a, 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 you know enough, too many people in the store. But still, it's not fun. Yeah, like uh, that shit was probably very depressing. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, shit, actually, um... Collapse increased. Yeah, and the whole Soviet Union is turning pink. I'm well, I love that Brezhnev, what? That's a great poster, holy sh- I'm- I'm screenshotting. I screenshotted that, that's a fucking great- That's in the thumbnail, that's gonna go in the thumbnail. Like, the Brezhnev with no face. Uh... So, problem of the sixth article of the Constitution of the USSR, fixing the predominant role of the CPSU or KPSU, yes, uh, in political life of the country, has long been disturbing the minds of not only Democrats, but also already many communist reformers. Uh, despite the fact that a full fledged parliament has appeared in the Union, guaranteeing freedom of speech. Peach? What the fuck is that? Uh, an initiative to every elected deputy. Propirestroika forces require continuing reform, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Third Congress of the People's Deputies. Uh, okay. We have no way to be so radical. I wonder what, what was that. Uh, so either propose a different solution to the problem, leave an article on the leading role, but allow a multi-party system retaining two-thirds of the seat for the Communist Party. Agitate against article cancellation or keep silence. Multi-party go die. Oh. Um, I think that that's the best idea. What's the, your bro, 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 this is literally what we had in Ostalgy as Germany, and it worked. Okay, listen, that's completely different. No, it's not. <laughs> it's I mean, not. We had the Stasi and everything. Don't we have the KGB? Uh, well, no, technically it's uh, not ours, but... Eh. Yeah. I mean... I mean, retaining two-thirds of the seed for the Communist Party. It says right there on the... The KGB is controlled by fucking Gorby. Um, I'm not sure the KGB okay. is truly controlled by anyone. Yeah, okay. Uh, that, that actually Hello, hello comrade. We found your statement to be counter-revolutionary. Um, uh, KGB in the closet. I'm doing this. Uh, so, blah, 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 blah. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of text. Uh, greater... Don't skip on it now. Yeah, according to him, the abolition of the article on the leading role of the CPSU will lead to an even greater strengthening of the separatism in the Union Republics, and in the end, it will lead to complete collapse of the state. Therefore, according to him, it is necessary to maintain the privileged role of Communist Party, while retaining guaranteed two-thirds seat in local councils. This idea met with support among pro-Soviet forces in Parliament. However, in the end, it was rejected by pro-liberal forces. Okay. According to amendments to the Constitution, the post of the President of the USSR was introduced. Oh, Gorby did the cringe. Uh, which should be elected by citizens of the USSR on the basis of universal, equal, and direct suffrage by secret ballot by for a term of five years. Yeah, but see, like, we could literally have done nothing else because, like, already this, like, sort of middle line was rejected by liberals. 
Like, if we actually had, uh, if we actually went full hard line like you want, you know. This is, this is crisis. Who knows what some options will lead to? Okay, okay, true, but, you know, yeah. Okay, so, uh, President of the USSR exists. That, that made Except some collapse. It's increased a little, but collapse is just going up. You know, as... Like, the thing that I've learned from uh, Crisis and the Kremlin-type games is uh, if you keep the standard of living high, everything else is good. Can we check the, the finances before we go to the next event? The problem is the industry. Uh, uh, what can we cut on? No, we can't. We can't cut any of these. You don't cut KGB funding in this, okay? <laughs> Can we cut agriculture and infrastructure below 100? Okay, agriculture maybe. See, last time you were the fucking one who was gonna were say who was saying like, oh my god, you shouldn't cut agriculture. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but infrastructure is necessary, and we need to put it into industry. We need to put it into industry so we get more money. Oh no, it's this. Uh, so, Pierestroika has completely turned life in Baltic Republics, contributing to an incredible growth of nationalism and separatism in the region. In the early years of Pierestroika, the Lithuanian independence movement intensified significantly and found more and more support from local authorities. In 1989, the Baltic Way campaign was organized. Residents of Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia expressing their desire. <laughs> I, I just made a joke in the ch in the server chat that like uh, someone was like, uh, "Ha, I actually like am of uh, Baltic uh, descendants," and, and I'm like, uh, "Oh yeah, the people who loved Hitler." Uh, so yeah, I made the joke too. Expressing their desire, uh, and probably there's there's some fucking angry Latvian right now typing in the comments. Uh, <laughs> residents of Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia expressing their desire to secede from USSR built live chain with length of almost 600 kilometers. See, like this sounds this sounds like the chain is like a is is like made of steel, but it wants to like <laughs> like it's intelligent and it's whipping people. Oh god, I never thought I would actually hear about this event again. I last time I heard about it was 14 years ago in a Norwegian school in the history class about the Whoa, Star. you get this far? Damn. I mean, it's, it's, it's we barely get to the Cold War because we're slow in Italian schools. I mean, I mean they mentioned in in our Cold War history class or end of it at least they mentioned a few stuff like Stuff with Ukraine about what is the Orange Revolution, something like that. that yeah. Stuff like that, but nothing past that. I mean... Nothing past the dissolution. After 1991 and so on, it's the back. Everything is good in Russia. Nothing bad happens. No, 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 not at all. Uh, so, um... Yeah, they, they probably just like really love like, oh my god, the, the like uh, human chain against the, the evil Soviet Union. Okay. I mean, in our history book, it says that Stalin killed 80 million people, so... 80? Okay. Yes. That's probably from like the Black Book of... Com Wait, no, I think the Black Book yes. of Communism says like 100. Just, yeah, yeah. No, maybe Stalin 80, Mao 100. Uh, the, the one that's always is like, that's always 100 is like Mao. It's like... You know, Mao killed like 700 million Gorillian people, and uh, Possibly. yeah, they they, they uh, love yeah, they I'm love going biased. over a hundred with Our Mao. Books are very biased. Obviously, uh, see, like uh, I don't know. Uh, I love it when you count like a million Gorillian people for Mao. That's that's just, just like my fetish. Like, uh. just see how high the numbers can go with Mao. It's just so great. Uh, so, a month ago, the Supreme Council of the LSSR uh, announced the restoration of the independence of Lithuania. Oh, no. Thumbs down. Not epic. Uh, so, thus, Lithuania became the first Soviet Republic to announce its withdrawal from the USSR. 
However, the center is not going to put up with the nationalist attitude. Gorbachev plans to declare economic blockade for the Republic, forcing it to return to the mainstream of Moscow. This is the part where we send in the Spetsna. No! Isn't he too Stalinist? Fuck. It's because we're pink right now, aren't it? But we're conservative! Are we though? Yeah, we're actually conservative. It's the USSR that's pink. Uh, yeah. We can't check. We can't check anyway, right? Fucking now. So. Fucking. See, it's the US. It's the USSR that's that's uh, pink. We are conservative. I, I guess we're not conservative enough. Also, collapse is like fifty-two now. Yeah. Birth of Russian parliamentarism. So today, the first Congress of the People's Deputies of the RSFSR is due to open. The elections of which are to be held a few months earlier. According to the new law of state power, the supreme body is... The supreme body of the RSFSR instead of the Supreme Soviet was the Congress of People's Deputies, which was authorized to consider and resolve any issues referred to the competence of the RSFSR. The position of the chairman of the Presidium, which you are currently heralding, Vitaly Ivanovich, will be abolished in favor of the chairman of the Supreme Soviet. I love how I love how they had to spell our name out at the end. Like, yep. So uh, <laughs> you comrade. Wait, wait, what was it like that? That epic like writing on the event of like. Uh, it was like when the K when the KGB wants to overthrow you for doing oh. Olgas, like. Comrade, and then it, and then it goes into like a massive raving. I just love it when I love it when you get addressed in these games because something funny is about to happen. Uh, <laughs> it's like we are gonna make the the Soviet of the KGB or something like that. I need to go back and watch it. Uh, who is expected should be elected by the Congress. <laughs> <laughs> Man, there was also the one where like the army is like we are gonna make the USS out of soldiers or something I don't remember uh, but the problem is that the only candidates were disposed are the super popular and charismatic leader of the Russian oh. Democrats oh, no. uh, yes uh, Satan and the moderate reformer as well as the current chairman of the council of uh, ministers of the RSFSR Alexander Vlasov Nice surname. Not yeah, not 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 the, not the actual one, but yeah. Uh, while the winner of the confrontation is difficult to predict, however, popular support nevertheless is on the side of Yeltsin. Oh fuck! Yeltsin! <laughs> I love I love how supporting Yeltsin is like Yeltsin. Uh, oh god! I think we lost. Okay. No, oh wait, we could have we could have run. We could have run. Oh fuck. Counting on victory. I'm pretty sure that if the lead changes, we Okay, the starting event was a bit weird, but I mean, I've seen screenshots of the leader being different, so it's possible that we'll still continue the game even if we don't win. Yeah. That's weird. Boris Yeltsin. No, we <laughs> Oh fuck, are we are reformer now. Wait, are we are we Yeltsin? Yes. yes. We are Yeltsin. <laughs> Wait, what? We are Yeltsin. <laughs> drink the vodka glass. I've got wine here. No, I mean literally next to important. Can you click on it? Mm. No. Oh fuck. But I took a shot of yeah, wine. I'm pretty sure it wasn't there before. Yeah, no, it was not. I'm 100% sure it wasn't. What the? This is like the biggest plot twist ever in a like Kremlin games. You are Yeltsin. What the fuck? <laughs> How can we be Yeltsin? Like this is insane. Anyway, uh, we have money. He invests into something that decreased panic. Or, no, 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 industry maybe. Ah, fuck. Uh, see, like, the thing is, considering that now we are Yeltsin, shouldn't we work to like fuck everything up? Is it? Isn't this our? Isn't this our new goal? We don't know. Yeah, like, like the revival of state sovereignty. 
the first Congress of the People's Deputies was marked not only by your election to the post of Chairman of the Supreme Council, but only so also by heated discussions about the future of the system of Russia. Liberals and Democrats are aggressively campaigning on adoption of Declaration of State Sovereignty of RSFSR, which will put the priority of Russian laws over the Union. Opponents of this initiative advocate only a slight expansion of Russia's autonomy within USSR, arguing that declaration of state sovereignty will lead to final collapse in the economy and destroy traditional inter-republican ties. What do you think? In the end, you are now the leader of Russia. Support adoption. Speak a Congress against the initiative. Hope for democracy. DESTROY THE USSR! No. <laughs> we have adopted the declaration of state sovereignty of RSFSR. In addition to proclaiming the sovereignty of RSFSR and the intention to create a new democratic rule of law within the updated union of SSR, the declaration also states the priority of the constitution and laws of the RSFSR over legislative acts of the USSR. Uh, equal and legal, equal legal opportunities for newly formed political parties, including informal ones. Oh, the Nazis. Uh, the principle of separation of the legislative, executive, and judicial powers. The need for a substantial expansion of the rights in autonomous republics, regions, and districts and territories is part of what I have said. It's all falling apart in front of us. The collapse is at 65. Yes, and we are going to make it even faster, 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 faster. <laughs>